fun friends, this is Jam with Photography Makes, and I decided that I wanted to record a little um, watercolor, I guess, um, journaling page with you all. I had a really interesting experience today, and um, I, I want to document it. So, today my sister and I got a pedicure, um, something my sister and I haven't done in a very long time, together anyways. And a woman had overheard me talking about how it's been a hard week for me, which in truth it has. And um, we ended up having our toes dried together. And when she sat next to me, she said, I would like to pray with you that you, you get through your week and um, whatever is troubling you will pass. And, um, that meant a lot to me. You know, it's not often that strangers step up and want to help. Um, I mean, it's not that I don't encounter kind words, but, um, today it was just special. It was needed. It was powerful. It felt like she meant it. So, um, so I wanted to do a journaling page, um, with this beautiful woman and I've decided to, I have the tattered, um, angel wings by Tim Holtz. It's a big die and I wanted to put the wings behind her because today it felt like she was my guardian angel. Um, so yeah. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I am using, I'm starting by using this gilding paste. It's um, Silver Hassan Gilding Polish by um, Metallic Gilding Polish. I think that's the brand, Metallic Gilding Polish. But um, it's this really pretty rose gold color. So you have to get your little sponge a little bit wet. But... Then it comes and glides right on. And yes, my wings are a little different because when I am when I uh, <laughs> embossed my it moved, but I, I like it, so I'm gonna leave it. And then these just um, layer up on here like that. Oh, and I meant to um, I'm sorry, I meant to look up the where I got my image from. I got it off an Etsy shop and she had a lot of beautiful images to pick. So um, I was on her site for quite a long time deciding on which image spoke to me. Um, but that's the one I had picked. Okay, so I think I'm gonna set these aside for now and let them kind of dry a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to do my journaling page. So I think what I want to do is um, I'm going to use saltwater taffy and worn lipstick and then squeeze lemonade with a stencil at the top. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to kind of add some color. Um, kind of randomly, I guess, because this is fairly new, it's easy to move around. So this, I'm sorry, I'm using, um, saltwater taffy. And this is the oxide ink, and I, I am going to spray it with some water to give it some, um, splotches. And I might even um, add some um, iridescent, um, the iridescent glitter. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if these are too similar in color. If I need another, another variation, I'd have to go digging. <laughs> 
Now she's wearing yellow, so, oh, she's so pretty. So maybe I'll get another yellow color out, I'm not sure. Or maybe I could do the green. I didn't pull any colors out, actually. I just kind of decided to grab what I had out. So let me see. This is worn lipstick that I'm using here. Let me add, let me add this evergreen bow. It's not coming out true color. I my obviously my brush is dirty. I have to clean my brushes. That's okay. Green's good. Green is grounding, right? So. So yeah, I guess my message today is just remember to be kind to each other. You know, sometimes a simple hello is what somebody might need in the day. You know, and it's something I won't forget. Her kindness will last my heart for a long time. It's something I guess I needed today. And I always find it kind of magical how you know, God speaks through us, to us through people, through strangers, through experiences, through signs, and you never know when it's going to come up. <laughs> but she happens to catch this video, which, you know, I don't know if she's a crafter or not, you know. Thank you for touching my heart today. Because my poor heart has been, been through it all this week. Okay, so I want to do, let's, I'm going to add some water droplets quickly here. And this is not like a distress bottle, it's just a giant bottle of water. <laughs> I actually have a distress sprayer somewhere. Ooh, loving that. Okay, let's add a little more down here and maybe a couple spots up here. So let's pick that up quick. Ooh, I, I kind of blurred it a little. That's okay. That's cool. I kind of love this. All right. Distress inks always fascinate me. Ooh, I might want to do mica spray. I love my mica sprays. Okay, hold on. I want to do um, I want to do my stencil first. So I was thinking of having her here, and um, I'm like, I love mixed media. I feel like I struggle with it a little bit. I'm not sure why. I mean, I could put. I don't think I have any, I was going to say, I wonder if I have any like scripture or prayer or any kind of that kind of ephemera. I don't know. I might, you know, that might be something that I could add. Like even if it's behind her, maybe not in the forefront, but. So I'm sorry, I'm using squeezed lemonade, distress oxide here for my rays. They might be a little bit subtle on the green, but I think you'll st still see them. Okay, and I'm debating if I wanna add do I want to add paste before I move the stencil? Let's let's do a little bit of paste. So I'm using Cosmic Shiver Shiv, Sh, Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Paste. Ooh. We're just gonna add just a smidge in here. 
kind of want it to be in this little textured bit up top. see what's under here oh look I didn't want to do that let me wipe that off I'm gonna have yellow in my texture paste um, okay alrighty Eek. okay let's see what this looks like you ready I'm so excited love that Ooh, loving that I like the colors okay I want this to be bright and happy and, uh, I don't know, just, just bright and happy. Okay. All right, so I'm going to wipe this off. I think I'm going to give this a little spritz. So, hmm, I have pink, I have green, I have yellow. Let me grab my... Distress um, mica sprays. I'm not sure what colors I have. I could do. I could do a lot of things. So, oops, I don't want to ruin my girl here. Okay. Okay, let's grab the box here. It's just right up top. All right. So, let's see what our options are. Um, I've got this one, which is Bubbling Cauldron with the green. Um, ooh, I got a brighter green. I don't think I like that one. And then, let's see. I got this yellow. <gasps> ooh, flickering candle. Let's do the yellow. I don't think I've used the yellow yet. No, I haven't opened the yellow yet. So... These up top. Okay. This is how my mind works. <laughs> I just kind of um, sometimes just let the art speak to me and I just wing it. I have a general plan. As you saw, I knew I was going to use the I knew I was going to use the um, angel wings. And I knew I was going to use the image. But I wasn't sure what colors until I kind of sat down and thought about it. That I did think about for a minute. Okay, hold on. I gotta shake this up because the mica. How pretty that is, though. Because the mica um, sits at the bottom. Okay, I'm ready. Let's tighten that up. We don't want to do anything, do anything dumb, right? Okay, let me just. All right, you're ready. Ooh. Okay, we're going to let that. Oh, too much, maybe too little, too much, too little. I think we're going to sob some of that up. Hold on a second. It's like, it's like a, um, it's almost like a gold color. It's very pretty. Okay. I like it. We're going to, I'm going to pounce some of this off. Ooh, oh my goodness, look what's happening. Okay, loving that too. <laughs> it's all experimental, right? We just have to experiment. Sometimes that's the funnest. That's what's fun about these journal entries. I've never done one of these before, and I'm so glad that I discovered it kind of by accident, and I'm just loving it. So, okay. So now that we got our... Whew, Got a mess on our hands, which is the fun part, right? We're still doing good. We're still doing good. Oh, look at this. Are you guys liking this so far? Okay. So now let's go. Let's We're going to set this one aside now for just a minute. And now I want to assemble my wings and uh, put them on my girl. So let's see. Now, of course, I can do more to these if I choose to. I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm debating if I want to do... I think we're just going to glue them down. Oh, my goodness. 
this. Okay. So I'm just going to glue these into place here. I don't think I'm going to pop them up, but I'm just going to glue the edge in case I do want to pop them up. Because I can just put like a little maybe dot behind it if I want to. A little glue dot. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive Glue for this. I do like the Nouveau, or Nouveau Glue. I might add a little bit of maybe stickles or something. I don't know. I was thinking of flocking them and making them like fuzzy, but <laughs> they're already textured enough. I don't think it needs um, fuzz as well. But I think fuzz would be kind of fun on some angel wings. Maybe the next project. Okay. All right. So here's my wings so far. And there's this beautiful girl. Oh, she's so pretty. Um, let's see. I can do them wide. I can do them higher. Like, like they're on her back. Oh, she's so pretty. Um, let's see. I can do them touching. If I have them touching, I don't think you could tell they're angel wings if they're touching. I think they need to be a little bit kind of out. Maybe to her waist. I hope you can see this. I hope I'm in frame. Sometimes I forget to check. Um, okay, so... You think that looks good there? Okay, I'm going to put some glue on the back of my girl here. On her, yeah. Okay, I'm hoping that will be good. All right, and then I'm going, going to um, use my block here. Okay, we're gonna let that sit a minute. Okay, I'm going to um, let this cure for a couple minutes. I'm gonna go dig through my stash and see if I have any scripture stuff. Just, I'll be back. I'll be right back. Okay, so after digging through all my stuff, I did find a couple of things that I thought might work for this. So I um, have these little songs. And I really liked this one. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy if you please, if you please. I thought that was pretty great. And then I found this little piece of plastic um, lace. I'm not sure if I'll add it or not. I found these little words, happiness, the best day, blessed in moments. And then I found this little um, uh, Bible page and um, I liked this Matthew chapter 5 and seeing the multitudes he went up into the, into a mountain and when he was set his disciples came unto him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Um, and it goes on. Um, the next, I don't have the next page, but as you know, it, it'll, it would go on. Um, but I kind of am feeling that too. So, okay. So this is my page so far. This is my girl so far. Oh, I just love her. And I'm thinking of adding, I'm really liking this. So let's cut, let's get this out of the way. Let me cut this. Because we can always add like distressing or whatever. It's kind of, um, yeah, this should take. I was going to say it's kind of glossy paper, but it's not. 
is not too bad. So I'm going to cut this like this. And then I'm going to cut this piece down. It's not like an even cut. That's okay. Make it as even as we can. Okay. Um. I want to be able to read it. Oh, that would be kind of neat too. To like kind of crinkle it in a way or something. Okay, so let me, let's see. I don't think I'm going to have room for this. It's not really long enough. I already added some texture on the top. This way I might still cut up. Um, but this one I'm going to... I think tea dye. Let's see. Just to give it a little bit of age. Okay. And I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun. All right. Okay. How are we gonna add her? So let's see. I could only I could do one. I don't have to do both. And I kind of want to glue it. So that it like almost does like a ripple wave or something. <laughs> we could put it, we could put it there. I kind of like it there. Oh, so pretty. I'm not sure if I want to cut this little snippet out. Have mercy if you please, if you please. I kind of need this to be, um, I want to be able to see this bottom piece. I think we're going to skip that. Okay, that's okay. So this is where I get stuck sometimes is like, I mean, we could do, um, we don't have to be, it doesn't have to be up and down. We can do it this way. Or we can do, um, kind of like it tilted here. I mean, we can always do it tilted down here too. I will have mercy. I can always cut this up too into, you know, sections. Okay, I finished the final piece. Here she is. So we've got some texture at the top with the glitter paste, some words with gold lettering, the song on the bottom, the mica, sh mica shimmer. I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. The last thing I want to do is I want to put, I'm going to put the date. I normally don't put the date on my projects, but I think this one I want to. So I'm just going to put it right here in the margin. Three, four, 20, 22. And now she's complete. I hope you enjoyed watching my process of <laughs> making a, a memorable journal entry. I hope you have a great day. Bye.